I don't think I can put into words how excited I am to open this box, but also to describe how long I feel I've been waiting for it. So I got another bookish unboxing for you. Hello friends, I'm Rosa, welcome to the channel. So today we're opening the January Fairy Loot, which finally arrived. So this is the YA box I should probably have specified. I do, however, I've become an adult book only subscriber as of this month, February. So I'll have two fairy loot to open this month, which I'm super excited for, but it's now the 7th of February and I feel like I've been waiting for this for a very long time. So I know what the book is in this box. I, however, have managed more or less, I think, to avoid spoilers for the items. And I think I've seen what the book looks like, but I've kind of also managed to forget it. So it'll be all new and very exciting and very surprising to me. If you want to check out fairy loot, I will make sure to leave a link to both their website and also one to Instagram in the description box. I'm not affiliated with them. I just love how they customize their books. But enough said. Let's dig into this box, shall we? So, oh, that's snug. Wow. Here we go. I kind of miss the black boxes. I'm not gonna lie. I think the brown, I don't know, it doesn't have the same feel to it. I miss the black ones a little bit, but anyway. Let's not drop out of the box. You can see literally nothing. Okay, away with that. Oh! <gasps> I just bought one of these! Oh, this is gonna be my most used item because I literally am the person that uses this. Okay, first of all, I need to find my... Is it at the bottom? Ugh, the spoiler card is at the bottom again. So, we got ourselves a spoiler card. The theme is Hidden Worlds, January 2023. Looks like we got four items, the tarot cards, and then the book. So first off, I found this, which, yes, I am a person who uses these. I sleep horribly. And if there is any light coming in through the window, I'll wake up. So as a Scandinavian, you can imagine during the summer, these are very handy for me. <laughs> so I have had one from Illumicrate Afterlight, which the elastic band after one and a half years finally like gave up essentially. So um, I'll get a lot of use out of this. But what's it inspired by? I cannot tell at all. Like I like the pattern, but I have no idea what this is inspired by. It says sleep mask. This soft sleep mask is inspired by our featured book of the month, which is waiting for you at the bottom of this box. Okay. And it's designed by Blanca Design. If I remember, I'll make sure to leave links to the artists and their Instagrams in the description box, but sometimes I forget. So just... A little heads up. Then we have this, which I'll admit I'll probably not use because this is not my style at all. Oh, this is totally We Hunt the Flame. I feel like this is We Hunt the Flame. Do you see it? I don't know. Do you see it? I feel like I see it, but do you see it? <laughs> so this is called a hair scrunchie. Oh, it is just a scrunchie, but like, I don't, know, this, I don't think I'm gonna use it, but Maybe I'll just use it around the house, you know? Or apartment in my case. It says, the hair scrunchie is inspired by We Hunt the Flame by Hafsa Faisal. And it's also designed by Blanca Design. I do like bookish scrunchies and like stuff like that. So maybe I'll use it for just like getting my hair away from my face when I'm editing or something. What are these for though? Like, I can't imagine. How do they, do they hang down behind your hair? I don't know the the logic is escaping me. I'll figure it out once I put them on at some point But I don't I don't know. It's kind of looks like rabbit ears. <laughs> anyway, then we have a new collection of magical tomes So this is going to be fandom neutral. It's like a hollow book But I don't know what this one looks like and I'm very excited to see what it looks like designed by Chatty Nora She's really amazing. So it'll probably be stunning. So Oh, it looks like actual pages. That's funny. Okay. Oh, she is stunning. Portal magic. A beginner's guide to portal magic. <laughs> this is so good. So you can store like, I have one that I store tabs in. I have another one that I store receipts in. Like not tea receipts, but like actual receipts. Don't, I'm not that type of person, okay? <laughs> don't get any ideas. I don't know what I could be saving. Oh, this one. Oh, oh, excuse me. It has like a look. Do you see that? Like it has details. Like it looks like it's like it has details. And then there's this over here. Ex libris. I don't know Latin, so I can't translate that for you. But um, this is cool. I like these. That's gorgeous. See, it was going to be beautiful. Like I said, if you want to see the back, by the way, because I know I only showed the front, but um, she's she's quite pretty, quite pretty. 
So you can also store the tarot cards in these, by the way. That's also an idea. But it says Book of Secrets. The first installment in our new secret book collection of magical tomes is The Beginner's Guide to Portal Magic. And this is, again, designed by Chatty Nora. These are handy. I just don't know where to place them because, frankly, I've run out of space on my shelves. <laughs> but I'll figure it out. It's fine. <laughs> You get to stay next to Baby Yoda. Very honorable position. So we have, oh, is that who? Are you? You are, aren't you? Oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna love the tarot cards, but last item we have the uh, the pin, Kadir. Is that also we have the, no, that's not. Is it? Oh right, Kadir. That's the Jin from the Stardust Thief. Right. Okay, Kadir enamel pin, designed by No One Designs. And the pin is inspired by the Stardust Thief. So I wonder what it looks like. Is it a dagger? No, oh, that is so cute. <laughs> it's not, of course it's not a dagger. He turns into a lizard. He can turn into a lizard. So um, we have ourselves a little lizard. Lizard enamel pin. Oh, that's cute. And it has like stars and also little clouds on it and stuff. I don't know. I don't really love pins as items because I don't know where to put them anymore. But I do love the design of them, if that makes sense. Like I have a couple of really pretty ones and cute ones that I just have on a shelf, not pinned onto anything, just kind of like on the shelf. <laughs> I like the design of them, I just don't know what to do with them because they've run out of space in my banners and they keep falling down as well because they're too heavy. So anyway, lastly, we got ourselves the tarot cards that are definitely Evangeline and also Jax. And I noticed the rose gold hair and then I lifted her up and saw underneath a blonde dude with an apple and I was like, this is so obvious. <laughs> like, this is so obvious. So we have Evangeline as the world and we have, of course, Jax as the devil. Of course, it's very fitting. And these are from Once Upon a Broken Heart. Tarot Cards of the Month. The Tarot card set features Jax as the Devil card and Evangeline as the World card. The characters are from Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber and were illustrated by the amazing Ars28. I love these cards, they're so random because like, what do you do with them? I don't know, but I like them. Anyway, I think it's cool. I also just like character art, so I'm biased in that way. <laughs> but they're like literally not used for anything. It's stupid, but I love them anyway. <laughs> So, gotta put those there. And then we got ourselves our book. And I'm very excited to see the edges on this because as far as I know, there should be, there should be some, ooh, teal. There should be some uh, printed edges on it. So first of all though, we got ourselves our letter. I'm guessing this is our lead character. Okay, if you want to read the letter, you can pause the video right here. Hopefully the camera focuses. It's very like upwards, which says that the, the author is optimistic. Isn't that what you usually say? I don't know. I'm just spewing BS at this point, but um, quite stunning piece of art though. And then we have the uh, also quite stunning piece of art if I may say so. <laughs> we have our bookmark that fits with the spoiler card, the theme art, and we also have the fairy scoop. But um, as for the book, I actually have an arc of this and I haven't read it yet, which I feel kind of bad about, but <laughs> I'll get to it. So I can't like... Oh, that's a nice colorway. Okay, which way? Right, so we have ourselves. Yeah, I like this colorway a lot better than the original, I'm not gonna lie. Like it just makes the center pop. But it's Spice Road by Maya Ibrahim, which, ooh, <laughs> I do like them. They're different, very detailed, like a lot going on on these, uh, on these edges. You see, a lot going on. I suppose that this has something to do with the story in some way. Also the items, like we have over here and the dagger over here and then on the spine, there's the last item. So I suppose they got something to do with the story, but I don't know yet because I've not read it. The original is like yellow around here. It just overall has a very warm vibe to it. I like the teal because it makes the center, which is orange, pop because they're contrasting colors. And it also makes the pattern on the archway here pop as well. So that's very nice. Very detailed edges. Very detailed. We gotta see what's underneath though. Oh my gosh. There's a lot going on in this book. Wow, that feels nice. <laughs> I don't know, it has a nice feel to it. Super foily, wow. Like that is a lot of foil. Like that is a whole lot of foil, wow. <laughs> It continues on the back. But there's like a pattern or like there's art if you can see that. There's a pattern and then foil on top. This is a stunning addition if you want to see the spine as well. She, it looks like this. Is it even the right? Yeah. She looks like this and there's just a whole lot of detail in this. Again, it goes very well with the edges. We also have, oh, 
Those are some good looking characters. Stunning characters. Like, those are gorgeous humans. <laughs> I don't even know if- are you human? Like, I don't know. You know, they might not be, but um, they look good, you know? Beautiful. And in the back. I don't even- stunning characters. <laughs> Whoever came up with the looks of these characters, I... Are you surrounded by beautiful people on a daily basis? Is that where you got your inspiration from? Because, like, what? Anyway, stunning characters. <laughs> Let's see, I think there was as well some... Oh! It has a re re reversible dust jacket as well. I did not... I did not know. That's pretty cool. So the original colorway is a little is a little bit closer to this actually. And then we have a dude. Who's the dude from the end papers, like the end end papers <laughs> at the back of the book? Yes, that's what I meant. I don't know who he is, but um yes. He he's there. <laughs> oh mine has taken taken a little bit of a bump, but it's no biggie. Other than that, she looks pretty good. Like, this is a really pretty book. I hope it's good as well. Anyway, let's read out the synopsis because I cannot remember what this book is about despite the fact that I have an arc of it. And that's embarrassing, so. Moving on. In the hidden desert city of Kalia, or Kalia, Kalia, Kalia sounds better, right? Secret spice magic awakens the affinities of those who drink the Misra tea. With her affinity for iron, 17-year-old Imani can wield a dagger like no other. And for that, she has gained a reputation as the next greatest shield, battling jinn, ghouls, and the other monsters spreading across the sands. But ever since her brother was discovered stealing their nation's coveted spice, a telltale sign of magical obsession, and disappeared into the deadly forbidden wastes, Imani's reputation has been in tatters. Despite a tears betrayal, there isn't a day that goes by that she doesn't grieve him. Then Imani discovers signs her brother may be alive and spreading their nation's magic to outsiders. Desperate to find him and to protect him, she joins the mission sent to hunt him down. Accompanied by Taha, a powerful beast seer who enthralls and engages her in equal measure, Imani soon discovers that many secrets lie beyond the forbidden wastes and in her own heart. Caught between her duty to her and her love for her brother, Imani must decide where her loyalties lie before it is too late. So I'm guessing this is Imani and that is um, Taha, possibly? I don't know, but I'm guessing so. So the dude on the reversible dust jacket is seemingly her brother, a tear, but I don't know who the last girl is. Is that also- oh that's also you! Oh, it's the same girl. <laughs> and now there are two different girls. Okay, anyway. Stunning book. Actually, really impressed. I was getting a little bit nervous with the edges, but I, like, because people said they were pretty, but, like, you never know. <laughs> What's pretty to someone might not be pretty to me, you know? But I like them a lot. I think they're great. Very colorful. No idea where to put them in this, but I'll figure it out. So, overall, I would say the only item, like, these two, um, I, I, mean, I think I might be biased because a Kadir, Kadir as a character is adorable. Boy, adorable is a, it's hard to explain. <laughs> I really loved Kadir as a character, so I might be a little bit biased, but I don't get the scrunchie as for the rest. Great items, in my opinion. Well, the pin is still a little bit. If it was another pin, I would have been like, meh, but it's Kadir, so I'm like, woo. <laughs> Favorite item, though, has to be... I'll probably get more use out of this, but I love the tome. And the book is stunning. Let's have a little bit of a look in the fairy scoop. There's an interview with Maya Ibrahim, and there's also... It says that your edition of Spice Road comes with an exclusive cover, digitally sprayed edges. Oh, signed by the author. I knew I missed something. We have a signature right there. Wait, that's so cute. It has like a little, a little drawing as well. But yeah, signature right here. It also has foil and artwork on the heart cover, artwork on the end papers, and a reversible dust jacket. So it's like fully, fully customized. That's very cool. Our dear author says that her favorite go-to snack is Oreo cookies. Girl Scout style. I can respect that. But before I forget, end papers are done by Merwild & Co. Of course it is. I should've known that. <laughs> I feel like I should've known that. The reversible dust jacket is also done by Merwild & Co. and also Blanca Design. And the design on the heart cover, so the foil as well, is done by Blanca Design. So yeah, overall pretty cool box. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Uh, let me know what you thought of the items and also the customizations on the book in the comments. I think it was good. Not the best, but like pretty solid, so. 
that's the verdict from me anyway. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to hit the thumbs up. And if you want to see more unboxings from me, but also videos like TBRs and wrap-up videos, readathons, reading vlogs, and all the other booktube stuff, definitely consider sticking around by clicking on the subscribe button. I'm gonna leave you to it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. Oh, you know, you know.